Welcome back to Motorblade, guys. Today we are going to install the Arlen Ness 65 degree velocity. Some of you guys might order the 90 degree. That's fine. Same thing, just a different angle on the elbow. It's the only difference. We'll be going over this install start to finish, how to take your old air cleaner off of your Harley and install this awesome, awesome air intake. This thing has really just changed and enhanced the overall performance of my bike and I could not be happier. So with that, let's get started. To get us started, we're going to take off the original air filter. That's accomplished with a 3 16 hex drive and uh, just a regular ratchet. Wow, those were not on there tight at all. Once you have your original cover off, you'll need to remove the original air filter. These three screws come out using a T27 Torx head driver. Once you've removed those three screws, you should just be able to pull the air filter right off. Wow, that is absolutely filthy, absolutely packed. You'll need to remove the two nuts that are holding the cover on here and here, and that's accomplished using a 9 16th socket. So for this installation, we're installing the Arlen Ness 65 degree. Now for that, we're going to remove this bracket. Check your installation instructions if you have a different type of air cleaner. You may or may not need to retain this. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and remove this bracket. All you have to do is remove the single bolt right there, and that's accomplished with a 3 16 hex key. Once your filter and cover assembly are completely removed, you'll have something that looks like this, plus or minus the bracket that we just took off of here. Make sure you clean out these grooves very well on these threads. I took a vacuum sweeper and put it right there and sucked out any little debris or Loctite that might have been there. You want those nice and clean for the new bolts that go in. A motorcycle is a pretty simple concept, but for those of you who may not be mechanically inclined or understand how this works, all your throttle does is control the air into the engine. So right now, if you're looking here, if you just reach up and gently twist your throttle open, you'll just see that open right up. That's a simple concept for a lot of motorcyclists, but some people might not know. That's all you're doing with the throttle is you're adding more air to make a hotter mixture, get the engine RPM increased, and thereby produce more speed. So. That's really all your throttle is doing is controlling a little gate right here that opens and closes the air going into your engine. So if you want to take a look at that, now's the time. Next, we're going to start the installation of our Arlen Ness 65 Velocity Air Sucker. First, we need to prep our bracket to go on the bike. We're going to take a rubber gasket, followed by the aluminum spacer, and then the third rubber gasket and lay them like that so the aluminum spacer is sandwiched between them and lay them there. Three bolts will come through from the back side to hold that in place. Next we need to put two O-rings in here. The O-rings are included with the kit. Put a little bit of grease on your finger and just work a little bit of silicone grease onto those O-rings and that will help hold them in place when we turn this upright to put on the bike. Trust me, you want to put that on there, otherwise the O-rings will fall out and you will have a terrible time trying to find it again. Ask me how I know. Next, you're going to take these three bolts. Make sure you put a little blue thread locker on them, some Loctite like I've done here. They're gonna come through from what would be the bottom here. This is technically the back of the piece that will go against the vehicle. And then we're going to pick this up, put those bolts through and mount it straight onto the bike. So this is what your bracket should look like. Gasket, aluminum spacer, another gasket, three bolts coming through. 
two o-rings in the grooves and then we're going to turn it and put it straight on to Once you have it aligned and your bolts are aligned with the holes, go ahead and tighten them down just hand tight with a 3 16 hex key. You'll definitely need a hex key on a socket head. You'll need a set of those to do this project because we are going to come back and use a torque wrench later on to torque all these down to spec. But for now, just get them in here hand tight. Once you have those three bolts in hand tight, take your breather bolt, place the copper washer over the top, and then, again, because Harley shake like no tomorrow, put a little bit of blue 242 thread locker on them. Place your breather bolt in through the hole. And then you can tighten that down by hand with a 5 16 hex head. Again, we're just doing this by hand at the moment. We don't want to get it too tight until everything has been snugged up and we're sure that everything is perfectly aligned and then we will come back and torque everything down to spec. Now you can tighten down your intake manifold bolts, the three in this bracket right here in the middle, and you're going to torque those to 12 foot-pounds of torque. Make sure you move around and do them all till they're kind of snug first. Don't just tighten one all the way at first. Once those are torqued to spec, we can do them breather bolts, and those get torqued down to 18 foot-pounds of torque. Next, you can go ahead and take your intake, your actual filter, and slide it over the elbow. This big elbow has a cut in the bottom where the hose clamp for your filter slides into. So from this point, you can tighten it down. What I did, so I just placed the elbow on here, like so, and then I lined up the air filter because underneath of the air filter is a silver cleat and you want that aimed down. For what reason, I'm not exactly sure, but that's what the instructions say. So you'll want to put this on here like it's going to go, and then make sure that you have your air filter lined up so the cleat is facing down. And then rotate the hose clamp so it fits into that spot, and then you can tighten down the hose clamp. They have you put the elbow joint on first in the instructions. I just find this easier to have it lined up ahead of time. Uh, it just kind of makes the whole process easier, I found. Also, you can go ahead and put the plug in the middle there that says Arlen Ness on it. Uh, that just comes in the bag, so you can go ahead and put that in there as a little bit of a trim to your filter. To install the elbow and the air filter onto the bike, next take the large O-ring that they include. Put a little bit of grease on it if you have some. If you don't, that's probably okay, but better if you have a little bit of grease. And work it onto the groove on the front of your mounting bracket here doesn't necessarily want to go perfectly at first, but just keep working it and it will go in there. One eternity later. Next, you can go ahead and take your elbow with the filter attached or not, depending on how you do this. Place it over. And then there are three holes, which I'm going to try to see if I can hold the filter with my knee. There we go, now I can do this. There's one here. One up top and one on the right side. The little bolts you're going to use to attach the elbow to the bracket are just the same as the ones you put into the intake manifold bracket here. So again, you can use the same drive, which is a 3 16 and make sure you put a little bit of thread locker on them as always. The last thing you'll want to do is go around and tighten those three bolts connecting the elbow to the intake manifold bracket, and you're going to torque them down to eight foot-pounds. And that is the completed Arlen Ness air intake. 
This is the 60 degree, but they make a 90 degree and it's basically the same thing. Just a different elbow angle. Uh, there's just a hole there, so I might get some sort of black, even just a piece of black tape perfectly cut to cover that or something. I think that would draw. I think it looks pretty good on the bike. It's supposed to be a very good air intake, very high flow. And nice thing about this over some other air intakes is you don't have to run separate breather lines. It has a patented internal breather system from Arlen Ness, which is the reason I went with this model. After you've done the air intake, you definitely want to run a tune on your bike. I'm going to be doing a whole series on the Dynajet PowerVision tuner coming up, but you guys could also use a Vance & Hines Fuel Pack 3 or even have it professionally tuned by your local mechanic on a dyno. So you have options, but definitely, definitely run a tuner if you're doing anything like a new air intake, new pipes, or an engine conversion, which is what mine is, at a 1275. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys found this video useful, please hit that thumbs up button and please subscribe to the channel if you're not already. That would be a big help. Click the bell icon next to it and I'll give you guys notifications when there are new videos to watch right here on Motoblade. Thanks for watching. Till next time, ride safe, ride on. I'll catch you all later. Peace.